started shadow play. Everything seems to be working. That's good. Oh, look at that. This thing loaded up training weapons. <laughs> I'll take those off. Seems to be some air loads in here wrong. That was my canopy. Oh yeah, it's a whole different world in here in 2.2 version with the shading and all this. Much better looking. Looks like they just have to do some fine tuning with the uh, color problem and the uh, skin. Looks like PBR issue or something. Mirrors are working. Yeah, they fixed those with the update. Reviewing complete. Yeah, the blacks are real black. I can't see the parking brake really well. I 
that just got shut down. <laughs> We're friendly. Oops. Have you ever played DCS in VR? No, I don't have VR. Well, me neither, sadly. I'd like to, but it's real expensive. I have the rig I for it, too. I don't even have the rig for it, but... Um, just, like... I don't know if I have to set up or increase the sensitivity of my um, track IR if I move my head up and down. Because if you're uh, in a in a turn fight or something, if you want to look up or outside, it's sometimes feeling weird. Are you having to use too much neck? Yeah. Yeah, you need to. Uh, you can loosen up your. Um, you can. If you look at your, if you pull up the track IR, there's a graph. Whoa! What the heck? That was weird. I floated up into the air. Um, if you look at the, there's a way to make a graph to null it all out. I have mine on a dead space, so it doesn't move on me and have it smooth and one-to-one. -one. Mm And then I have the sensitivity coned out. Sorry, trying to get lined up here. Sorry. For some reason, I can't push this button and talk and then push this other button at the same time. It keeps nulling it out. Okay, so in Track IR, uh, you have the five, right? The software. Yep. So you just open it up. Down in the bottom left corner, uh, you should be able to see all your axes yeah, and stuff that you can set up. The graphs, yeah. Yeah. So what you do is the the graph down at the bottom. You can grab those and move them. The tighter and and sharper the cone you make, the more sensitive it's going to be. The further yeah. out you make it, the more hard it, the more neck you're going to have to use to look around. So what I have mindset on is I have it on smooth, one to one, and aggressive, but I have a, a slight um, cone, no um, bending out so that when I do, I, I, I if I want to look 180 degrees, I don't have to, I just barely move my head. Okay, got it. I, I don't have to use my whole neck. Um, to look right, I only have to look from the center of the monitor to the right side of the monitor. I just move my eyes or my head to... I'm looking at tw 2 o'clock, and I'm barely looking at one two-thirds of the monitor to the right. Or, you know, the other half. Yeah. From left to right of the monitor, so I'm at two-thirds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when yeah. I go to 90 degrees... I'm still looking at just above two third. Oh, and the same I think for the, I get the hang of it now. Yeah, so what you do is you just you don't have to use your whole neck. Just just barely move your head. A lot yeah, of people yeah, make yeah. the mistake of uh, putting too much of a uh, a sensitivity uh, curve in it that uh, they end up using their whole head to look behind them. And I'm like, what? Are, I'm watching people play on YouTube, and I'm like, they don't have their <laughs> curve set up right. I said, oh, man, you're, now I get, and now, I get now, it. and then you'll wonder why people are necks are killing them is because they're using too much of their uh, neck. True. Yeah. And then you just put that spot. You take the center uh, ball, you move that up one or two ticks, and that way you yeah. stay locked center. 
uh, and that way you, and you don't have to um, you you don't have to move your head as much to you know what once it comes out of center you know how you have oh, to keep resetting yeah, yeah no it makes yeah, sense so if you better. yeah so if you take that dot in the center and move it up a little bit it'll lock the center for you that way you don't if you make any small adjustments in your head it won't knock it out of center That's, I, it's Thank kind of you. hard to explain, but... No, that's, no, I got it, I got it. I think this is, this works better. This should work better now. Oh, yeah, this is so much better. Yeah, yeah. it just gets used to tweaking it. There's a 9 mile per hour wind from the, uh, from the north here. All right, I'm going to take off now. Takeoff's in here a little bit different. Oh, I had it at 25, that's why. I see they still have an issue with the uh, weapons camera. It's not as, doesn't look like a glass. Uh, but it's nice flying in, in TTR, Nevada. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm going to go pull a Arnold Schwarzenegger over in <laughs> Las Vegas right now. Come on, flaps, you're supposed to, you're above 200, you should be coming up.
a quite a nasty crosswind that's going on there. Uh, it's real windy out here. They're using real weather um, dynamics from the weather yeah, center. And over here in this area right now, we're hitting 50, 60 mile per hour winds. I live in yeah. El Centro, south of uh, Nevada, and our winds are really high oh, right okay, now. Got it. What's the, what's the average temperature, high temperature during the day? Uh, the in the high desert, uh, probably 60s. In the low desert, where I'm at, in the 70s. Oh, that's not bad. All right, coming up over Vegas. I think I'm over north. Oh, okay. There's a strip. Buddy joined your channel. Who's that? Hey, Barnacles. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you're going to hear me talking. I'm over on uh, Discord also. True. Sure. Okay. If you're busy, don't worry. I just had a quick question about these. Sure, go ahead. Um, I'm thinking about buying the, the the channel map and the W two W two assets pack. Uh, what do you reckon? That's probably a, is is it any good? You mean the Normandy map? Yeah, the Normandy. Map. Oh yeah, it's real. The, the last I haven't looked at it today, but from what I'm looking at in in the Nevada map, they done some more improvements it looks <laughs> um i'll be posting the video so uh after i get done doing my familiarization in nevada map here i'm flying over vegas i'll uh, go ahead and go into normandy start the harrier up go up in that and i'll post that one too cool yeah before you make your decision but it looks really good i was thinking about getting one of the the, the two 2.0 maps like either normandy or, or nevada so i was just w wondering what if I, if you have to choose between the either, because I've got, I'll, I'm quite curious to see what 2.0 looks like, so I need one of those maps. I think. Which one do you recommend out of those two? Do you reckon? Well, I recommend the Normandy because you're going to get a lot of missions, but there's also a lot of missions in the uh, Nevada also. Uh, I would get Nevada because there's more people running Nevada missions because it's smoother. Seems to be more optimized than Normandy right now. Well, I haven't been able to check it today, so I couldn't tell you. But last time I checked it, last iteration, Normandy was a little buggy. A little frames. But this new version, they said they nulled out the, uh, sh the shadow issue, so uh, Normandy's version is probably up to par with Nevada now. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll have a thing. Uh, yeah, cool. Thanks anyway. I'll uh, let you get back. That's your thing. All right, I'm over to the international airport now. Take care. Bye. All right, see ya. Buddy left your channel. I'm not seeing markings on this airfield. Why? Have you flown over, uh, not in Ellis, but the Las Vegas uh, air airport? Uh, no. I you haven't? So. It seems very low resolution. Uh, the textures are very low resolution. Like, like McCarran? Yeah, McCarran. Oh, well, I'm coming over there. Have a look at it. I think it was. I'm at 3000 right. and it doesn't look right. Hmm. I mean, I could see the tarmac and stuff, it just doesn't. The black areas look uh, dull, um, f blurry. Okay. Well, I'm coming over and have a look at it. And I'm talking about the west side. Okay. can't even see numbers. Is this a taxiway? What is...
Okay, the one nine heading. So the uh, north south run looks a little looks a little weird. Oops, I was pulling back on the... I guess it looks alright. It must be just the shading. Maybe it's just a texture thing with the map mapping or anything, or, or, or um, what's it called? An isotropic filtering? Yeah, I don't have that turned on. There was a new NVIDIA update today too, so... This is McCarran, I know this airfield. I'm gonna go right down the strip. Hmm. Looks all right for me. Oh no, there's a madman flying over the strip and a harrier. <laughs> Behind the space needle here. Hope the girls held on to their panties on that observation deck. <laughs> Wow. I'm over here on the north side of Vegas and I can see Nellis's airfield from here.
I don't really understand the uh, flaps logic or if it's programmed properly on the Harrier because um, even if you're in cruise mode, it never goes, it never sets the flaps to zero. And if you switch them off, they go to zero, and you can really feel that it's reducing the drag quite a lot, actually. Uh, the plane isn't supposed to go above uh, Mach. So that's why they produce a drag on the aircraft at five degrees. Oh. Got it. That makes sense. I mean, that's what I was reading in the forums. Landing gear, landing gear. Thank you. 